Okay, I think we're ready. Let me know if you can hear me. Okay. I think first we're gonna solve this. And I think that'll be good. Okay, can you guys hear me? Okay. Um. Okay. Great. Leo, are you a moderator? Because if so, then deal with August. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna be solving this, and you may remember from my collection video. I didn't show the bottom of this, and that's because you actually have to switch these two uh, edges in order to make it a full checkerboard. And so that is like a lot of work. So I decided to just make sure not to do that. And I just, um, I just didn't show that angle of it. So fun fact for the live stream viewers. Oh, Leo, let me see if I can fix that. Um, add moderator. Okay, sweet. All right, Leo, there you go. All right, so I think this should be pretty fun. And then later we'll be doing some, like, CS timer races, or, I mean, just races in general, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to angle this down a little bit. So, oh, that's actually not a horrible view. Don't worry, guys. I'm like a professional. Okay. So I think we're nearly done with the star. So I gotta turn this up so I can see the chat. Alright, so we got the star for this part of the Mega Minx solve because I only messed it up like a Mega Minx because I didn't feel like trying to make it like a 4x4 four four checkerboard pattern on this cube, so I just didn't. So, fun fact. Now I'm just working on F2L for the Mega Minx stage. Light. Um. Well, thankfully for you, Josh, it's getting darker outside, so there'll be less glare, so... Actually, I might just close my shade a little bit. I don't know if that'll do anything, but... Um, let's see. Alright, I think that helped. It's a lot darker for me, but hopefully it will. Look a little better on you guys' end. So I am trying to make the purple and yellow pair right now. And it's going really horribly because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. So very fun. The studio oh sorry. I'm gonna open this back up there. Um, what do you mean, studio light? Can you elaborate on that? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna try to hold this up more, I guess. Um, let's see. We'll get the final green and purple pair in and with like nine years into the stream we've finally got the white side wow so i think we'll just do like yellow now because why not so let me find some yellow pieces all right now we'll work on the yellow side very fun
the thing behind you, it's not a light. Is it not a light? Oh, like this thing? Uh, that is just a light that I got, uh, like, not super long ago. Um, it's just, like, at night when my, like, light up there, let's see, is, like, getting blocked by my bedpost right there, it, like, you get, like, no light over here, so, um, that's why I got this one. But, like, if I turn it on, it's, like... It takes, like, a really long time to turn on, and it's super dim, so it's, like, kind of garbage, but it does, like, okay. So, fun fact. Alright, and we need two more edges for yellow, and I think we can pair up these and insert into the front, because I'm bad at Mega Minx. Um, we got no problem, Josh. And I also had to, like, have a really big problem with getting the stream to go, because on my phone, I can't stream, so I, uh had to use like my sister's computer because on my computer which is just like owned by my school um it doesn't let you have any other accounts that are outside of the district so hers does so i had to like borrow it for this stream so hopefully i can figure out something like that in the future or maybe get a thousand subscribers either way i'd be okay with so uh hint hint to you guys Make sure to sub of the scribe variety. All right. Um, fun fact, very nice. Um, yeah, it is a fun fact. All right, so we will get this in and we are nearly done with stl which is second two layers and that's pretty fun we've got i think one more side left or uh two but they'll pretty much solve both of them at the same time so pretty fun if you ask me so after this, I think we'll take a break and maybe do some 3x3, or if you guys want to do like a certain event, uh, just let me know, and uh, <coughs> sorry, I knew I had to cough, but I didn't want it to happen, but then it did anyway, so sad, but uh, just let me know, and I will see if that sounds fun, and if it is, then we'll give it a try. So we're going to put in this final red pair right there, and that should complete S2L. So 5x5. Five five. Honestly, if you want me to do 5x5, five five, it's like a three-minute solve for me, so I'd be willing. Leo, um, I don't know if, even, if he is even still here, but he... Uh, essentially blew up his 5x5 five five in a video that we uh, just filmed, and so that's going to be fun to watch. So look out for that one. And now we've got a last layer case. Um, we've got to orient all of these corners, or actually uh, premute all the edges and then orient the corners. So... We are almost done with the solve, and it's been extraordinarily slow. We've been going for nine minutes, and I can solve a three by th or a well three by three mega rings, but just three by three. Uh, why am I talking about three by three? That's completely unrelated. <laughs> I can just solve a mega rings in like three minutes, about maybe like two and a half if I'm doing well. But yeah, it's like not great. <laughs> And this does not turn very good, so um, I uh, probably won't 
really be solving this a whole lot because like that's not that epic if you ask me also did i just mess this up because i didn't want to mess it up oh no there we go okay that would have sucked considering how long it took me to get to this place in the first ness place so you call pro english don't worry guys i'm a professional and with that we have one more corner and I think it should be solved in a moment. Yes, okay, so that's the first time this has been solved in, like, a really long time. We still have this to deal with, and that is going to be a nightmare. And it will give you guys flashbacks of my first video, which is just really bad. So, let's look at the chat. Um, all right. Do five by five, yeah. Okay, I'll do five by five. All right. Um, I'm gonna not do CS timer scrambles. I'm just gonna mess it up because I don't really care. This will definitely go faster than the master killing. So I sure hope so. Anyway, so if you guys can solve a five by five, which is just you and Leo and maybe August if he's here, but that might just be me. If you have your 5x5 five five handy, especially Leo, uh, you can solve it. Josh, do you even know how to solve a 5x5 five five still, or no? Nice. But I'm in the car. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it's really weird being on the other end of, uh, like, the delay in a stream. Because, like, you don't really think it's that much when you're watching. You're like, I just sent the message. Why hasn't you seen it yet? It takes, like, a really long time. Like, wait, let's do a test right now. So, um, oh, I should have been timing this. I have my stack mount right here. And there goes my pen. Okay, uh, it would just take me, like, a million years, yeah. Um, so, when I say... So, when I say now in my next sentence, put a one in the chat. Now. Yeah, so that's, like, a five-second delay, which, like, it's not horrible, but, like, I've seen some YouTubers that just have, like, 100-year delays... So, <laughs> that would suck so bad. You'd get no content, at least from the chat. Alright, so we're almost done with centers. And there we go, all centers are done. And now we're going to do us some edge pairing. Oh, I got a really good case right there. All the stuff is like right here. So, that is pretty dandy. You guys could, like, call me, like, the best at 5x5. Five five. I mean, I know I already have a world record in 3x3. Three three. Oh, wait, that video hasn't come out yet. It's gonna be a doozy, though. So, yeah. Also, what do you guys think? Should I um, upload this after I film it, or should I not? Because on the bright side it could get my watch time analytics up by like a hundred years and that'd be kind of cool but it also might drag down my view analytics by like seven millennia so it's the question of is it worth seven millennia or the other one um you are oh yeah obviously i mean that kind of goes without saying like, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm just above compliments, apparently. So, like, yeah. That's pure logic right there. I'm the best at pure logic. All right, so we got all of our centers done, and we paired up an edge in the process. So I think we can do a bit of a 3x3 three three solve here. All right, last layer, we know that algorithm, and a Y-perm. 
So we avoided parody. That's pretty nice. And there we go. Um, post it. All right. Have you read 12 through 15 yet? Of course not. I don't do schoolwork. I just do cubing. Lol. I also need to do the book assignment for math. So, let me just grab this. What do you guys want to do? Uh, we've got all kinds of events. So, yeah. And then there's more in there. So, what are you guys thinking? Because I've got my 3x3 three three right here. And, um... Obviously, like, all my other cubes are also still right there, though. Like, I could do... Oh, jeez. I could do a... Uh, come on, don't be so bright. I could do this one. It's my mini 3x3, three three, but the lighting glare is so horrible. <laughs> so, yeah. Pure ranks, but the big one... Oh, master pure ranks? Okay. Let's see that. I haven't solved that thing in a hot minute. Um... Yeah, that's actually fun. I got this from the scamming website, davidcube.com. So, <laughs> it's just the best. All right. So, let's mess this up. And I think, like, I say in one of my videos, like, oh, yeah, I figured this out by myself. Um, I only just, like, looked at a thing to help me. And, like... I think I just, like, looked up a method on, a, like, a website, but I didn't, like, count it as a tutorial in my brain for some reason, so take that for what you will, but I'm, like, I kind of feel like I didn't, like, <laughs> do that so validly. Also, I totally agree. I'm so surprised they did, like, actually send it, because they could, like, so easily just not. I've actually been always kind of worried about that, like, you can just, like, pay for something, and then they could be like, eh, you know, like, kind of just can't be bothered, which obviously is illegal, but, like, you know, legal things aren't illegal. That's not a real fact. So, let's try to get these into place. I haven't solved this thing in so long. Oh, my gosh. Um... Alright, so we've got blue, like, these things. Um, I don't even know if that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, nice, I did it on the wrong side. But, oh, yeah, 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 I remember how to do this. Oh, see, I haven't, like, solved this in a super long time. So, I appreciate the uh, suggestion. Josh. Very pog. Okay, and then we can... Oh, I messed that up. Um, illegal things aren't illegal. <laughs> Honestly, one of the best quotes, you could argue. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's pretty much just, like, the truth of life. All right, so we're going to get the centers done here. You got to love just, like, how horribly I'm doing these solves today. But now I think we can give us some edge pairing a try. Or if you want to call it that, basically. Sorry this lighting is so horrible. I don't really know what to do about it. Um, like, these pieces are what I'm solving right now. So, that is pretty dandy. And it's going to be weird not just, like, editing this for, like, a hundred years after I do this, because my videos normally take a lot of editing, because I mess up my speaking a lot. So, fun fact about me. So we've got almost the entire blue side done. I think if we do this, that'll solve that. And then if we solve that. And gosh, this maybe? 
it would be good. So we just got like these pieces left to solve, just like around here. Blue is completely done. And uh, yeah, so we're almost done with the solve. I don't know why I haven't been solving this that much. It's actually like fun. Oops, that was not the goal. There we go. All right, and just a few more to go. We can insert that and do a replacement technique. And all right, so we have parity, which is where we've got like all of these three swapped, but not on other side. So I do know an algorithm for this because I'm the pogist. You guys might know that, but like now you do for sure. It's like guaranteed. And there we go. Blue side. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you guys think we should do next? Because I would say we would do a Q&A, except I know both of you, so like not the greatest idea. I'm going to grab some water. All right, what are we thinking? Oh gosh. Fine, 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 fine. We'll get clogged. Okay, or shapeshifter. Uh, we'll do some clock for now and then um, give shapeshifting a try um, somewhere else. Oh, come on, man. These, like, pins don't align very well, so, like, this clock sucks. And Chi Yi made a clock that's, like, way better, and I wish I just would have waited to get it, because, like, right after I got this, they made that. So, it's just my luck, man. And we'll flip it over and give this side a scramble. Oh, sorry, I should hold this up more so that you can see. Um, Josh, if you can think of any specific shapeshifters, there we go, that's the word, that you want me to solve, then definitely leave those. And um, Leo, I think you're here too, so if you care, then you can suggest stuff too. So I think that is pretty like messed up. So, I guess I'll just solve this dark side first, but on the side that you guys are looking at, it's probably going to be, like, really weird, because it's not how... Or, like, this puzzle, like, the back is completely different to the front. So, let's see if we can figure this out. I haven't solved clock in like a really long time. Kind of seems like I haven't seen solved all my puzzles in like a really long time, but like you know, it's fine. I definitely focus more on three by three. So there is the cross for. Let's turn that down. For that side. So there we go and. Now we will solve the other side. So I think if we just bring up this piece, then we can give this solving a try. Oops, I messed that one up. All right, there we go. And this one. And this one. So, let's see if we can align that and then that up. And it should be solved on the other side. It is. So now, if we just solve um, the corners, that should work on this side too. And also, Josh, we can give shape shifting ghost cube man a try 
I don't really know if I want to, but honestly, it's worth it because, I don't know, for the meme wallness of it. It's like the best metric you could base anything off of. So, and this should solve it. Yeah, there we go. So we got the clock solved. People can solve this in like so much faster than that, but we ignore that. Now I will grab my ghost cube. Let's see, is anyone else joined? I don't think so. Um, everyone who's here, put something in the chat because I just want to get like a idea of it. Um, because, actually, a fun fact, Josh gave me this cube, so it's kind of fun, and I think we will just scramble it up here. I remember the first time I solved this, Josh would know too, like, it took me, it took me too long, honestly, like, it shouldn't have taken so long, but it did. Um, Josh and Leo, thanks for your attendance. I wonder if it, like, if it thinks that I'm, like, the third person here. Oh, the second, or the third person left. Wow. Honestly, I bet it was August and he just got bored, but who knows, man. Alright, so, with this scrambled, I think we can give it a shot. Now, mind you, it's been a while. And so this solve is going to go really horribly. But, you know, whatever, man. It's going to be okay. So, I'll we'll just get this edge up into this layer. That's too low. And that fits. Okay. And I think we can see if this piece fits. And it doesn't quite, so I think that means that this one will. Yes, of course. And then finally, we are going to actually try to, like, do all of our centers here. So that will be pretty pog. So does that line up? Not quite. Does that line up? Not quite. Does that line up? I don't think so, but I won't rule it out yet. Hmm. How do I do this? How, how, how? Um, maybe if I try with this part. I think if I make the cross, this might be a little easier. I'm probably gonna go watch some restoration video. Um, I don't really know what that means. Um, so, okay, have fun, I guess. But, like, lol, I suppose, is the correct response. So, does this fit? No. Does this fit? No. Does this fit? No. And does this fit? No. Okay, well, it's not that piece then. And we'll try it again here. No. 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 Okay, and I don't think it's there, but I th think I remember correctly. It is this one right here. Not that. Not that. Not that. Hmm. To do, to do. What do I do here? Um, this one is hard. This one is definitely hard. All right, let's see. You said August got bored in the session. Oh, yeah, definitely. He probably went to 
go like look at a camera review from like the 1880s so i hope he has a fun time with that <laughs> but yeah i don't know august has some interesting interests but i don't know it's fine oh yes there we go okay so the cross is aligned how it needs to be i forgot about the offsetting part you know that would that would have been that would have been good to know off the bat. <laughs> I uh, completely forgot how this cube worked, so I was like, "Yeah, what if I just didn't realize how it worked?" So I think it needs to rotate one eighty. Let's put that back and see how that goes. No, that is not it. So. Um, hmm, maybe this one, got to remember to align this when I check if the piece is correct, because I think that might be my downfall if I don't. So it doesn't look like it's there, it doesn't look like it's there. So what could have happened is if this one actually here. No, it definitely doesn't. Gosh, Josh, why'd you pick this? I know, like, I just decided to also, like, do it. But, like, it's hard, man. So let's see if we can give this a shot. Um... Yeah, it's definitely the other one. So, all right. Oh, the third person's back. I wonder if that's August. August, if that's you, say something in the chat. All right, let's give that a shot. All right, I think that fits. So, we've got that there. And this has to then go like... I think this direction. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Longer than it should have been, in my opinion. But, you know, whatever. All right, let's try out this edge. Not that one, but does it go in this way? Does not look like it. So I guess I'll just have to leave that to the end. And I guess we will give this a shot. Sorry if it looks, like, super bad from your angle, by the way. It's kind of hard because cubing, like, it's a very, like, angle-oriented thing. So it's a bit of a rough time otherwise. Okay. So I think if we insert perhaps this... Where's the piece? All right, I think that's it. We should be able to get the beginnings of the first layer. So, I think that's correct. That is definitely not correct. So, let's try to fix that. Also, sorry about my dogs. I really can't deal with them myself. So, you know. What can you do? All right, so I think we're actually making progress here. So there's that. And maybe, just maybe, we will get some results from this. Gosh, those dogs, man. I can't stand them.
All right, I think I need to rotate this 180, actually. Yes, and then I think that needs to be changed a little bit. That one might need to be changed a little bit. Let's see, so that looks flush. That looks flush. This looks flush. All right, so I think if I am correct, that we are nearing the F2L stage. Oh, hey, Learn the Cube. I have seen you commenting on my videos. Appreciate that. Um, I hope you are enjoying the stream. Uh, this is going really horribly. <laughs> um... I will see if we can get somewhere here. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry. I completely forgot to put this back. So here's our progress so far. And I think that's like decent. Not like the greatest, but you know, what can you do? Okay, I really do not know what to do about those dogs, though, man. Like, goodness gracious. Oh, and that's oriented correctly in this. Yet another installment of Pog English with Jagger. So, um... What's that say? That says Woj. Epic comment, Josh. All right. Um, let's see, we can try this piece. Oh yeah, that definitely does fit there. All right, so this solve is tedious, but I do enjoy it. I, uh, I really should do it more. It's like fun, but it's also like grr, so that inhibits me from doing it as much as it probably could be done. All right, there we go, first two layers. So... Um, let's, like, align that a little better. So, now it's the annoying part of last layer that we have to deal with. So, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Try as soon, see what that does. Does that correctly orient any other edges? It doesn't look like it. So, we'll try it again. All right, that looks like progress, maybe. So, gosh, I gotta get a better setup. Um, thanks, thanks, F2L, well, yes. Okay, um, let's see, does this work? That doesn't work. Oh, actually, I think that edge goes there. So if we orient that, then we can give this a shot and see what comes out of it. So the thing with the ghost cube is like, you just, you don't know where stuff needs to go. So I think maybe I'll just do like an L case here and that might attempt to do something for us. So, I don't know. This is, like, classified as, like, one of the hardest shape mods that there is. And I definitely agree with that. So, that looks right, that looks right, and that looks wrong. So, I'm beginning to think it looks a lot like Christmas. Wow. All right, what did we get out of that one? We got out of that one. Let's see. So I think that might be in the wrong spot, actually. I can't really tell at this point. 
All right, that looks right. So that means that if we do this, yes, okay, so we've got a bar like right here. And so that's, that's very useful. Um, how useful? Very. Uh, how much am I going to be able to take advantage of it? That's a different question. <laughs> Let's see if we do a T perm here. What happens with that? Did that rotate any centers? It didn't. Okay, that's pog. And I think if we look here now, we should have all of our edges at least oriented correctly. Maybe. <laughs> Gosh, this is so hard. Josh, why'd you do this to me, man? I didn't deserve this. Oops, that was the wrong algorithm. Okay. I don't think I could be doing this in any more beginner of a way, but, you know, whatever. Um, let me see if this rotates this center. Okay, not that one. How about this one? Ooh, okay, so if we do a J perm, it will rotate the top center, which I think is actually what we want right now. Right, anything in the chat that I need to be looking at? Fun fact, I told my parents I'd be listening to Kill a Mockingbird and not for the audio, but I was watching you instead. Oh, that's Pog. Um, yeah, um, this cube, uh, learn the cube is just like, I don't know, like, I can, like, I might look right now, actually. I'm gonna grab my phone, because I have a PDF, or not a PDF, a, uh, Word document of all of my cubing PBs, so... Actually, let me just grab my other computer. Let's look at the ghost cube. All right, what I basically need is for that to not play. And let's look down. All right, right there. Okay, we gotta go a little farther. Ghost Cube, PB72077. So, all right. Oh, all right, see you later on the cube. Um, yeah, so this, this is an interesting existence. I almost want to try to do, like, an actual OLL. I don't know how risky that is going to be. So if I have, let's not do this on blue. So if I have a block there and, okay, let's try this. We're trying to do some pog algorithmic superness. It's the best way to put it, I know. All right, let's see. How much will this do? Nothing. Lovely. How much will this do? Ooh, that did one of them. Okay. So, there we go. Um, let's see. Um... Oh my gosh, literally, oh, I'm going to solve this, actually, it's going to bother me. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get back to this. I 
I know you guys, like, couldn't be watching more thrilling content right now, so, like, you're just, like, so lucky to be here. Alright. I think I just need to rotate this. So... Oh no, not pog alert, not pog alert. Oh no, it's all going wrong, it's all going wrong. Oh no. Oh, are we back? Oh, we're back. Um, so, that happened. Uh, that really wasn't the goal of that algorithm, I'll be honest. So, if I go like that, oh gosh, what did I do? Um, I think it's uh, this one that actually goes here. Okay. All is not lost yet, but, oh gosh, that was not fun. Okay, so I think that might actually be the wrong piece. Yeah, because that doesn't quite fit correctly. So, let me go like this. And try to insert the piece. Like so. Okay, that is not what I wanted. Gosh, there's so many triangular pieces that just look the same on this. Um, alright, that's not the one. Alright, there we go. I think we got that back. So, yes, alright. Whew, that was not fun. And yet more dogs barking in the background. I'm gonna literally die, but, you know, it's fine. We love our pets so much. You know what? Okay. I'll leave you guys with a nice time. Let's try to, like, prop this up. It's gonna be really pog. Oh, that's actually kind of epic. So, we're gonna turn this on, and we're just gonna time how long I'm gone, because I gotta go deal with the dogs. And go. It's definitely gonna fall. You know what? We're just going to leave it there. All right, have fun with that. I'll be back in a second. Goodness gracious, man. Let's see, what time did we get? We got sub one minute, 57 seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's backwards for you guys, though. All right, anyway. Back to solving a ghost cube. Uh, no new comments. Okay. Do I have any viewers? I do, and I think it's just Josh. Um, oh, Leo had to take his dog for a walk. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, back to solving this. Let's give a soon a try. Oh, progress. Okay. So I think hopefully this will work. Wait. Let's do a line case. Alright. And 
And what did that do for us? So for us, that did. Uh, nothing of freaking use. No, I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. We've got ourselves across. Let's get some hype in the chat for that one. All right. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, my. All right. So I think if we just finish this step, we might even be done with this cube. And let's see. Yes, it looks like it's going to happen. All right, guys, just a few more moves. And, oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We solved it. Thank gangrene for that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are not using that one anymore for today. All right. Josh, are you there? Let's see. Uh, say something in the chat if you are. Um, looks like someone joined. Um, who is that? Let me know in the chat. Um, I think it is time for some 3 by 3 solves. Oh, and they're gone again. Alright. Well... Nonetheless, even if I'm streaming myself, I don't care. Someone can watch this back as a video. If I get a new tab, can I go to CS Timer? Let's see. All right, can I share my screen, though, is a different thing. A different thing, indeed. Um, what does that do? I don't know, man. I'm not a streamer. Who do you think I am? Alright. How long have we been going? Nearly an hour. Okay. Wow. Um, alright. Well, unfortunately, I won't be able to you the scramble because I don't know how to share my screen, but I will just say the scramble, I guess. So F2 B U R U2 L from B D L D L2 F2 L2 F2 D R2 L2 B2 U2 B2 U. All right, so hopefully you guys got that. And I think I'm gonna do a stack mat solve, so I'm gonna go back to this, tilt that down a little bit. It's a decent view. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do some inspection here. Um, all right. Not horrible. And go. So sometimes in my videos, I have to cut out bad solves because they're just so horrific that it just, like, it'd be a disgrace to leave them in. But that solve was actually pretty good. Um, oh, let's complete the backwards. 12.542 is the time. So, yeah. It's pretty fun. So, we will do another solve here. And I will turn this on and reset it. And let's 
turn on the tools there. And next scramble. We've got L2, F, D2, B2, D2, F prime, D2, F, L2, F, D2, F prime, L, B, U2, L2, R2, U, B from F from L. And oh man, that's actually like a really good cross. So tilt that down. And uh, let's just give it a shot, I guess. We got a 13861. So, not horrible. And I think, honestly, we're just going to do some hand scrambles from now on because it's too much work to go back and forth. It's not even worth it. So, yeah, um, I might take this stream another like half an hour or something because I probably should do my schoolwork that's due tomorrow. You know, occasionally a good idea. So. Just give it a shot, I suppose. All right, this scramble looks like decent. So, three, two, one, and go. Nice. We're doing actually kind of pog today. 12, 4, 43. You guys are going to get super good at reading times backwards after this stream. So, yeah, I think for the final probably half hour, which is in just like a few minutes, we will just solve the Gigaminx and I think leave the stream there. So, let's do this solve. Also, uh, let me guys know in, yeah, let me guys know, uh, let me know, um, if you guys want to see any more streams in the future, that was super bad, 17, um, because, I don't know, I enjoy doing them, so, um, we'll mess this up again, uh, so either in the comments of the, uh, video, or in the actual video itself, if you are here live, which I don't think anyone is right now, I'm streaming to myself. Yeah. So, let's give this a swift look. All right, and here we go. This scramble looks pretty good. Oh, but I am not good at my recognition, that's for darn sure. All right, let's just proceed to go extraordinarily slow. Actually, not horrible. 14, 126, there we go. And I solve here. And in probably about a minute and a half, we'll start that gaming solve. And yeah, so that'll be pretty pog. So... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, horrible OL case. I hate that one. I really need to get a new algorithm for it. Oh, 16682. I'm going to quit showing in showing them to you too as well because they're just backwards and that is not worth it oh hello to uh whoever joined i'm just doing some three by three right now so uh say something in chat if you want and let's give this a solve all right it's actually going not horribly oh i think i got a corner twist though sorry if that was out of frame uh, yep, corner twist, nice, and a T-perm for a 14207, and jeez, this light is horrible. Um, my cube looks like it has black internals. Wow. Um, alright, so, 
I think if you are cool with it. Oh, hi, Henry. We are going to solve Gigaminx. So we're going to time it as well. So we're going to solve it from the checkerboard pattern. So, all right. Uh, let's just get it like that. Three, two, one, and go. So I think I'm going to just try to make each uh, center and then go from there and see how that takes it. This thing will actually turn. I haven't used it for a while. All right, so first center is coming along. And we've got this center piece. So there is that one. And now we just need the final one for the white center. And that is the white center nearly done, minus like a piece that went somewhere. Where did it go? Okay, there's one of the pieces, and the other one is right there. I see. And that's the last bar for the white center. So we've got the white center, and I think we can just do green now, because why not? It's right here. And let's get that a try. This is a horrible scramble to do this from, though, because it's, like, really hard to have to get, like, every piece from the exact opposite side of where it's supposed to be. This is actually going to max out my stack mat for sure, so I don't really know why I'm doing it, but, you know, whatever. And the uh, second to last green piece is going in now. And now we just need a green bar to complete that side. All right. Let's give it a shot here. All right, and now we've got green. So, oh, we've got three people here. Is that Leo? That is Leo. We hit an hour. Yes, we did. All right. Um, Leo, if you didn't already hear, um, I am just solving the rest of this Gigaminx. And I'm using my stack mat, which I think has a capacity of 10 minutes. So I don't really think that's going to happen. But, you know, maybe it'll surprise me. So we are almost done with red, and I begin to hope now that this doesn't take like an hour and a half, because that would not be fun. So let's see, we've got green back restored, and hopefully this will go faster than it did when I first solved it in my unboxing video, which was I think my second video, and... I'm not super proud of that one, I'll be honest. It is not of very high quality. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's try to avoid just being, like, extraordinarily excited over literally nothing. So, we've got this here. Get the blue in. And we've got this going in. And we can get almost all the way down with the blue face. We just need another corner. So, yeah. My arms are like already getting tired from this. It's so heavy. Um, yeah, so we will insert this and we will get these corners over here and there's the edge to go with them. So, with that, we can pair them up. And now we've got the blue, white, red, and green centers. So, 
now we can work on yellow. And the yellow for Shangshou is the most ugly color. I really, really don't like it. Um, but that's whatever. And we can get this in. I really wish they made a stickerless Gigaminx. That'd be so much nicer. But that'd be like a whole lot harder to make. So I don't know if they could even do that. And if they did, it'd be like really expensive. So I don't think I'd probably even get one. So maybe scratch that idea actually. But who knows, man. So we're going to get the blue adjacent to this correct. Yes. Okay, we got yellow done. And now we've got purple to do. And let's get this paired up. Insert it. And we've got this paired up. And we've got this paired up. So we can get that all inserted. And now we just need the final bar to complete the first six centers. So let's try to do that. And there's the last piece. There's purple done almost. And after this turn, yeah. All right. So we've got all of these centers done. And we're six minutes into the solve. Honestly, not super horrible. I'll take it for this, I guess. And let's give this a shot. I might even get a new record, depending on how fast I can do this. If I uh, just see what time in the live stream I start. So I think my timer's for sure going to max out, considering we're six and a half minutes in, and I'm nowhere near done. So... We got pink almost fully made right here. And the last piece is on the gray side. So we'll get that out of there, paired up. There we go. And insert it into pink. So very nice. And we've got the green. And that can go in here. We got to align that better, though. All right, there we go. And the light green has gone quite well for me here. I just need to find the corners. There's one, and there's the other. So light green went real fast there. So shout out to light green, guys. So let's take a look at the tan center. And yeah, so we will do that and pair up light yellow, which is really not my color. And I guess we'll just do gray because it's almost already made entirely. So let's just do that. Oh, but I messed it up. But I don't know. We're already doing gray, so we might as well keep going. So we'll get an edge in here and make sure not to mess up the other centers. That would not be fun. And I remember in my other video about the Gigaminx, I like went on about parody for like the entire video. So I'm going to try to avoid that knowing that there is no parody. And I'm pretty sure I knew it then too. I just needed something to talk about. So fun fact. We are on eight and a half minutes for the stack mat timer. So it's not looking great for the time uh, session, but we got that done. And now it is time for some edge pairing, everyone's favorite. So we have 30 edges to do, which is like just so many. So I think I got to do this as efficiently as I can. And we've got uh, one other person watching, so that's pretty pog. And we will get this done. And we've got the starts of a few different side colors. So we can do this yellow and orange up in front. And that should go in pretty good. Nice, and we got a white and yellow. Don't think I've even made any full 
edges yet, which is not ideal, but you know, we'll get there. And where can I find me a white and yellow center edge piece? Right there. All right, that's pretty epic. And get that in there, and then get this in here. All right, sweet. And I think green and yellow can go in just like this. And we've got the green and pink, which will pair up and replace it with red and white, and then solve red and white. This is actually going pretty nice. And my stack mat turned off. Uh, yeah, it maxed out. So apparently, fun fact, if you take a stack mat and you just run it for too long, it just turns off. So if you're too slow, then apparently stack mat is not for you. <laughs> So we will get the purple and white edge piece, move that over here, and around like this, insert this, and insert this. So we've got the purple and white edge done now, and there's another edge I can see. So this is actually going like pretty quick, um, a whole heck of a lot quicker than it did the first time I did this. So, let's get this pink and red started. So, let's just go like that. And then we can find the other one and go like this and pair them up. So, let's make sure not to mess up our centers here. And we've got no one watching right now. Oh, wait, there is someone watching right now. Oh, well... Sweet. But let's get the second uh, part of this one done. And we've got the third part of this one. So yeah, we're actually kind of like trucking along right now. Like, if someone can go look what time I started solving, that would be very appreciated. So then I can know when I stop what my time was and then we can have our final little thing of the video I mean live stream same thing whatever it'll be a video have it be see what time I get so let's try to get the tan and red edge but I don't know where that is so we might have to just move on from that one We've got yellow and blue, that's right here, so let's work on that one, I suppose. Start that, and move it back over, and then we've got this one here. So, let's get that, and let's get the pink and red, or pink and gray, actually. Okay, that's right here. And pink and gray, other piece, it's right over here. So we've got that all in. So that's pretty pog. And if we just bring that over, then we can move that edge and insert to this corner. And there we go, that aligns those ones. So, very nice, we'll insert that. And even still, after having this puzzle for literally like a year, it's still greasy on the outside. Way to go, Shang Shao. Can't not love them. All right, so we've got tan and red, and we've got um, white and red over there. So where is the tan and red? Come on, where the heck is it? It has been hiding from me for so long. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like seeing Santa Claus, guys. Um, alright, we've got this. Um, we got a whole lot of comments from Leo. Hi, we hit an hour. Lol, I'm playing with Legos. It's me. Very nice. Okay. So, let's 
do that insertion. And we can do uh, blue and orange for this pair. And we can do the green and yellow, or light green and yellow, I guess. And that is coming from where? Recognition on this is so hard because the pieces are so far apart sometimes. So we will do this. And there we go. So, purple and blue, we'll do that right here. Alright, once I can stream on my phone, guys, if I ever hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to get an overview of set up so that it's, like, way easier to see. So, yeah, watch out for that if it ever happens. Because then I can actually stream, like, a lot easier, so... That will be pretty pog if it happens. And the blue and orange is right here. So where did it come from? Or where did it go, rather? It went to this side of the cube somehow, which was not the intent by any means. And so we'll put that in, flip it over, and put it back. So... We're at an hour 16 right now, so that's, like, not horrible, I guess. Um, I think that's a decently length stream. I'll probably end it right after this solve. So, let me insert this edge right there. And maybe even do this. We're getting some free slice edge pairing in right here. So... Red and green, we've got right here. So, let's see. Nice. And we've got pink and blue. Very nice. Going in right here. Can I be efficient with this? I can be mildly efficient with this. So we'll grab some pink and tan, just the best colors. And we will insert that. And then finally we can insert the purple. And so I guess I will do it like this. And then we will retract the orange and green. My eyes just got super ishy, so I'll look for pieces in the meantime. All right, yellow and orange. Let's do that. Actually, green and orange because it's right here. So, change plans right then. All right. Let's get blue and purple done. Actually, another change of plans. We got some purple green action happening. So, let's get that. And restore. And how about tan and blue? Very nice. And I guess we will just do this pair going in here. And then we will do this one up on top. So we are very near to Mega Man stage, which hopefully I can do faster than I did last time, because that took freaking ages. Um, so let's try to avoid that. Um, but yeah, so as this stream starts to wind down, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a fun time. Got some good 3x3 three three solves. I'm pretty happy with few of them. So, yeah, we're going to insert this edge now. Um, go like this to preserve that block. And then we can get the gray and orange over here. And 
hopefully I don't go to jail for just doing this so fast. That would not be Pog. Also, that'd be, like, really, really weird. But, you know, whatever, man. And then we can do some tan and green, which is actually white and green. Hmm. Interesting. But where is the center? It is right here. Maybe gray and green? Oh, yeah. Gray and green. Let's do that. So we'll insert that, and then we can insert this one right here, which also gives us an opportunity to do the green and white. So that's pretty nice. Gets a lot easier to look at if um, we are actually having all the pieces almost entirely paired up. So... Let's do the orange and yellow. Oh, that is a very unsolved edge right there. We'll have to fix that. And let's do that. Slice back. And we can do this. Flipping algorithm. What even is the flipping algorithm? Oh, uh, yes, I remember. Don't worry, guys. I am a professional. We've got two viewers, and I think that is myself and Leo. So, nice. Honestly, like, the, the yeah, the my best, uh, uh, you know, it's late in the stream, guys. I can't talk anymore. Who do you think I am? Like, a streamer? No, of course not. I'm not some kind of peasant. I actually don't really know where I was going with that, but, you know, lol. So, obviously, like, the best response. And we've got some blue and green action. And hopefully we can solve this. Gigamink solves are never, like, super exciting, so that's why I decided to do it on a stream. And I think if we grab the other purple and orange... We can do that, and this, if you guys are watching, you can see, is our last edge. So, now we can just do some Mega Mink stage, and that is pretty much going to do it, man. It's been pretty pog. So, we will insert that. And we will insert this over there. And grab some red and green edge pairs over here. Don't mind if I do. And try to turn the darn puzzle, but apparently not. Um, all right. I will insert this. And I will insert this one over here, so then I can get the red and blue. Nice. And that lines that up to be paired. And there it goes. So yeah, let's see if we can do that, and then we can do this, and then we can do that, and then we can do this, and then we can do that, and then we can do this, and then we can do that. That'd be funny if I just ended the entire stream like that. I'd lose literally every viewer instantly. All, like, Leo of them. So, yeah. Also, uh, to any of you watching in this back, because Leo is the only one here, uh, shout out to him. He is a moderator, so he, like, deals with, like, dumb people if they're horrible at having a live stream sense of like not being horrible and yeah so like that's the best way to describe it in my opinion like just really is pog i do believe is the term so we will get this blue and pink and insert that over here and unfortunately we didn't get any mr beast massive donations so 
apparently I'm just way too big of a streamer to get like into the zero streamer videos. So, you know, lol. And with this, we can finish up for red. And we can do this. And we can finally get the green edge here. It's nice. And we can also try to find this piece. The uh, green and then tan and light blue. And then we'll get the other green corner from over here. Of course, it's the farthest away it can be. And then... Get some purple action up in here. And let's see, we've got that. And that purple edge. And finally, we have got the, 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 this purple edge. And we can insert that just like this. So with just yellow left to do, and of course gray. This has been fun, guys. So we're gonna end it, I think, just shy of an hour and a half, unless I horribly mess up this part of it as I mess up an F2L pair. Oh gosh, guys, it's gonna go downhill. So let's just insert this yellow, orange, and green, and then we can get blue and pink and green. So, we've got the worst case for the top layer, of course. It's just what we need. And after this, we can, um, can see how long the solve took. So, Leo, if you don't mind, could you put in the chat what time I started this, um the solve, because I would really like to nudge, and yeah, so with this we can permute all of the corners, so I will look at the chat in a second and see if Leo has said anything, but yeah, this has been... Not been the most exciting solve, but I haven't hated it. I think it's pretty fun. And I guess we can just kind of go like this. And finally, put that back where it goes right there. Yes, okay. Now we just have to orient all the corners. And let's see. We've got a whole lot of R&D moves to do right here. So this is about to go in. And here we go. That gray, light blue, and orange piece is in. And now we just have two pieces to go. And with this, we are about to be done. If I could freaking turn this thing. Goodness gracious me, oh, Jan Megaminx. Okay, let's see. So we got this, and this, and this, and done. Okay, 129.16. I'm just going to put that in the chat. Um, 129.16, so let's go there. Um, a perfect hour into the stream. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um, then let's look at my cubing PBs thing down here. And we can see what my previous record, or newly broken record, depending on how good it is, was for my master big boy minx. I think that's exactly what it's called, if I remember correctly. Gigaminx, 29, 27, 63. Oh my gosh. 
we beat it by um literally like 11 wait did we beat it by 11 seconds if we beat it by 11 seconds that's really funny um 29 27 63 29-16. Gosh. All right. Well, our record goes down by 11 seconds. Very fun. So that is a new record. And yeah. All right. Well, sweet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that stream. My lighting is horrible. Let's see if I can fix that to the end of this. All right. Uh, I'm still so glaring. Okay, I'm a little dark here, but whatever. Um, all right, so thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end this just after an hour 30. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know exactly what to do. Anyway, don't twist me in corners while I'm away. Dang, I was trying to make a joke about twisting corners, but then it just didn't work. Bye!